Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game, hitting the like button. And if it even starts yet, y'all are the ones in there. I appreciate you anyway. I was talking to my coworker about this, man. Um, shout out to her. She she sent me a few, a few actually, uh, topics to, to cover on my channel. So shout out to her. But I was talking about this with her not too long ago. As as we all know, the NFL draft was um literally it just passed just around the corner about a week ago, depending on when I can drop this video. Uh, about a week ago, right? And every dude that was like drafted was with Caucasian and or his or Hispanic or Asian women and everybody was like, yo, what's going on? Why aren't these athletes dating black women? What's going on? These black all these black men drafted are dating or engaged or married to um a non-black woman. What's going on with that? So me and her, we already had our discussions off camera. Obviously, of course, I would love to bring her on, but she'd be acting all scary and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Uh but shout out to her, man, because cause she's the one who sent me this video. Uh, but let, let's let's get into this, man. Uh, why are black D1 athletes only dating slash marrying white women? Let's get to it. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you. As someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg Thee Stallion Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division One Power Five football teams, and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? He said, bro, they know that we're making some money, but while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite Cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends were telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all not pay for her hair. Hold on, before he, now he's he talking about maintenance. So before, I, I wanted to stop her earlier, but he, he, I mean, listen, I told y'all the story about, I don't know how long it's been, four years. If I remember, I put the eye at the top about four years ago about the Caucasian girl that took me on a date. Um, and it wasn't, I was thinking that, yo, she probably going to think that I'm about to take her out to like a steakhouse or something like that. No, she was like, yo, let's go to IHOP. I was like, oh, okay. Went out to IHOP, did this, did that, whatever the case may be. And she paid for the meal. I was like, no, I'm, I'm no, 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 I want to pay. No, let me pay for the meal. Again, if I ever put that eye at the top, do y'all know what I'd never said in that video, which is what I hate to admit, but it's the truth. I actually had a great time. <laughs> I actually had a great time. It was, uh, the conversation was great. Um, it was really, really cool, real chill, real fun. I told her it was a chick that I met, I think I was a freshman or maybe a sophomore in college and um, stuff like that. I told her about how, you know, she had asked me a few times, I was like, nah, man, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, we ended up having like a group project together and we finished the project and she kept asking me, like, I'm like, you know what, screw it, let's go. Uh, went out on a date, buzz, buzz, blah, and everything happened. It just started, it started going downhill after the fact. But if y'all want to watch that, y'all can go ahead. Again, I'll probably put the link in the description so y'all can go ahead and watch that. Uh, anyway, with that being said, uh, what what was he talking about as far as like the black woman went to steakhouses and all that's that a third? That's a fact. There's been so many times where I've shot my shot out, um, shot shot my shot at a black chick. I told y'all about the chick that I was talking to that wanted me to take her out to Ruth Chris. I'm like, Ruth Chris. She's like, yeah, yeah, let's go to Ruth Chris. I said, okay, well, tell me how to get there. Oh, hold on. Let me put in my GPS. No, 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 no. Don't put it in your GPS. Tell me verbally how to get Because apparently you eat there all the goddamn time, so you should know how to get there. Oh, no, I, I never really been there before. Okay, so why are you expecting me to take you out to an expensive-ass steakhouse like Ruth Chris for the first date? I don't even know you like that, bro. We, I just got your number about a week ago. We've been texting for like the last couple of days. Where is this coming from?
I have to give him credit for saying this because it's the it's the truth. Expecting these expensive ass meals and all this down the third. What did he say? Yo, listen, chick, the black woman was finding out that he had like deals on the table. She out here sending him, I am sending him cash out requests. What the hell? What what? Whether he has it or doesn't have it is neither here nor there. The problem is the fact that you believe you you think that you you have this entitlement built in you that you think that you deserve or or you should be able to request any type of money, any type of compensation from this man. All because what? Y'all texting back and forth? Make it make sense. Deals, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails. They don't even care about the nails, really. You know, and if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in. And I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat arms. She wants to be special. Jesus Christ. You guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> one of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. And I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. Why are all these black? He said it, not me. He said it, not me. I didn't. I did not say it, y'all. I said this so many times, y'all. Years back, years, years back, bro. After I got rid of um my my other ex that, that I was talking to for a little for about four or five years or whatever case it be, I said this, and I mean it with every fiber in my being. This is my last relationship. I got one more in me, and that's it. That's it. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm not to be. I'm not about to be sitting here going back and forth about nonsense and all this. I'm not doing any of that. I refuse. I am at that point in my life where it's like, yo, listen. You need to understand what what I'm saying, where I'm coming from, and learn when to shut the hell up, or keep it moving. I'm not doing all this. This, you know, and, and it hurts because it's everything that this man is saying is is a fact. It's the truth. Y'all know me. I'm non-biased. Anytime we're having these types of conversations, especially when we have, I should say, especially when we're having these types of conversations, I'm going to be non-biased at all times. Everything this man said was facts. As far as the entitlement, as far as the delusion, as far as them asking for crazy compensations for basic stuff, I've had chicks like, oh, yeah, yeah, you black woman. Oh yeah, well, can you give me like a hundred dollars for my babysitter? Why am I giving you a hundred dollars for a babysitter? What the hell? What what? Oh, let's go out to this thing. Oh, let's go here. Let's go there. And then when you say no, they look at you crazy. They start doing the typical shame and tactics. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Typical sign language. Oh, you must be broke. Oh, you must be this. Ma'am, doesn't matter whether I'm broke or rich or not. Why are you sitting here asking me for money? I don't even know you like that. We haven't even completed the first date. And you already expecting me to do what? Hand pay out this. Oh, you need help with rent. You want your hair and nails done and all this. That. What for? No, get your daddy to do that. Why are you asking me to do these types of things? Make it make sense. Again, I got to agree with everything this man said, man. Uh, I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, be safe for a cup.